I can't see shit. I can't see shit. Oh my God. What's up guys, John here, and lately I've played a couple of video games that were RPG-like and I was really kind of curious about people's opinion on them, which made me kind of think of the question, you know, what is an RPG? And you guys, this is something that has been discussed and it has been talked about for many years, you know, there's many games, you know, Zelda being probably the most talked about, where people ask the question, is Zelda an RPG? Now, while I'm not here to talk about whether or not Zelda or the Legend of Zelda franchise is an RPG, you know, I am here to talk about what I used to think RPGs were, what my current definition of an RPG is, and what games do I think, you know, kind of constitute as an RPG. And like I said, there's been a couple of games that I've played lately that really made me think about that question. And really, there's a YouTuber out there, his name is uh, Eric Landon RPG. And, uh, dude, your, your videos inspired me to actually make this video. Um, you guys, check out his content, Eric Landon RPG. I mean, obviously, by the name, he, he mainly makes RPG videos. But, uh, you know, they're, they're pretty good. You know, I watched the first few, and then I, <laughs> I had to watch them all. So let's just ask the question and find out, what is an RPG? So before I talk about what an RPG is, I kind of need to talk about what I used to think RPGs were. You know, when I was a little kid, you know, when I heard someone say RPG, I instantly would think about Final Fantasy. You know, I feel like the uh, creators of Final Fantasy really created that staple battle system that many, many, many RPGs adapted to, even to this day. Um, and it wasn't until a game came out and I played that actually blew my mind, and that game is Lunar the Silver Star, you guys. I, even to this day, I love the franchise. I love every game I've ever played in the Lunar series, except for maybe the, the DS game, but that, that's a whole other story. Um, when I played that game, you know, I really noticed how rich the battle system was. It's a very simple, but yet very in-depth battle system. And also, the storytelling blew me away. Blew me away. So... With my knowledge of the Final Fantasy franchise and my new love for this new Lunar game, you know, in my mind, you know, as a kid, you know, we're talking about me playing these games years ago in the 90s. You know, after all that happened, you know, I pretty much thought that, you know, every RPG had to have turn-based combat. And it wasn't until I started playing, you know, many, many other games that I found out that that's, that's not quite accurate. Um, but after I played the Lunar games, you know, I, I really wanted more, and that's kind of what really drove me to pursue playing so many different RPGs on so many platforms. So then, guys, over the years, I played many, 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 many different types of games, you know, mostly RPGs. And then I'd say, you know, right around the time that the uh, Dot Hat games came out on the PlayStation 2, that's when my ideas started to change. Now, what was interesting to me about the dot .hack games was the hack and slash battle system. And really, it's totally an RPG, except for the fact that it has that hack and slash battle system. Your characters are still leveling up, um, you're gaining experience points, you're, all your stats are leveling up. And I mean, isn't that the same thing that happens in any, any other RPG? The only thing I noticed that was different was the battle system. So now my ideas of RPGs at that point, we're talking about the mid-2000s, is starting to change. You know, I love the Dot .hack. You know, after I got done being the Dot .hack series, which I played all the original Dot .hack games and the GU games for the PlayStation 2, um, I started to explore, you know, oh my God, what are other action RPGs that I can play? Because that's what they are, they're action RPGs with this hack and slash battle system. Um, you know, and that actually took me back all the way to the place, or not the PlayStation, the Super Nintendo era, and I started to play uh, Secret of Mana, and then for PlayStation 1, Legend of Mana, all the Mana games, and now I want more. Now I find out about the Tales games, so I'm playing all the original Tales games from the PlayStation 1 all the way up to, you know, it took some years to play all these games, but all the way up to the PlayStation 4. And there's, there's many, many other great action RPGs out there that I've played. I've just played so many of them. I can't really think of them off the top of my head. 
So now, after all of this experience and all these games that I've played, you know, what do I think constitutes an RPG? You know, what are the characteristics that I really think mold a game into an RPG and kind of separate it from other genres of games out there? Um, you know, one of the first things that I think an RPG should do is tell a story. Um, you know, some of the more action RPGs, they might not tell that much of an in-depth story, although some of them most certainly do. But I think an RPG has to tell a story because you're playing the role of a character that's in a story. You know, that's just my opinion. Um, and the second thing is there has to be some sort of character development. Um, you know, a character has to has to grow into kind of like a, this pinnacle role of you know what their character is and what they should be. Um, and usually that happens in most RPGs. You know, once you level to level up to a certain level. Sometimes it can happen in the middle of the game, and sometimes it can happen, you know, towards the end of the game. Um, and, you know, for all RPGs, I think, you know, and this is, it's a staple to me. It's a staple characteristic of what I think an RPG is, and that's the battle system. Um, you know, an RPG, to me, guys, it does not have to have a turn-based battle system. It could be an action hack-and-slash battle system. It could be, and I'll explain this here in a little bit, it could be a shmup battle system, and I'll, I'll explain that here in a little bit. But there has to be some sort of battle system in place that helps level up the character, not only their stats, but, you know, kind of also aids in their character development. Um, you know, and kind of, you know, raises all their stats, you know, whether that be MP, HP, XP, or any other kind of P. So that's pretty much it guys you know that's what I think an RPG is it has to tell a story there has to be character development and there has to be some sort of combat system in place to help that character level up you know and those three categories especially the combat system category can kind of branch off into many different directions and there has been a few games you know lately that kind of have done that you know there's games like Nier Automata that kind of add that shmup or that shoot 'em up element in various parts, you know, especially in the beginning of the game to kind of mesh those genres together. But there's one game, and, uh, you know, I think that, you know, I think this game's going to cause a little bit of controversy as to what's an RPG, and that's uh, Sky Force. I think it's Sky Force Anniversary Edition for the PlayStation 4. Uh, I think Limited Run Games put it out. But I was actually at the Too Many Games convention in, uh, in Oaks, Pennsylvania, and you know, Limited Run had their had their little tent set up there, and all their games were super cheap. They were like you know twenty five bucks a game, brand new. So uh, you know, I love shooters. You know, anybody that knows me knows that I love shoot 'em ups. It's it's one of my favorite genres outside of RPGs. And uh, you know, so I wanted Sky Force. I'd heard about it, and I had heard that that game had RPG elements to it. But guys, look, I played that game the night I brought it home, and I, this is just my opinion, but I think Sky Force. For the PlayStation 4 is definitely an RPG. And Eric Land an RPG, you should check this one out, buddy. I want to hear your opinion on this game. Now, Sky Force is a game that starts off just like any other shoot 'em up, but you go through a series of levels and you can redo your levels, kind of like, uh, for example, uh, like Super Mario Brothers 3. You do a level, you beat it, you move on to the next level, and you can do that in this game. But the interesting thing about what Sky Force does is the levels get so hard that you need to kind of raise your stats and you kind of need to gain experience, so to speak. So although the game does tell a story, although it's a rather weak story, um, the RPG element of the battle system is heavy in Sky Force. And I know people are going to think that I'm crazy in saying this, but you know the levels that you play through, that is pretty much the battle system, just playing the level. And then you get your little currency, and you know to level up all your different stats. And I, it's kind of hard to explain. You guys got to just check it out. You know, Sky Force for the PlayStation 4 is a shoot 'em up that has very, very strong RPG elements to it. And I'm I'm hooked. As a matter of fact, I'm so hooked on that game. And this game, and this doesn't happen with with many games where I bring a PlayStation Vita to work with me. I leave my PlayStation 4 on standby mode at home and bring this with me so I can link up to it and play it um, from home, you know. Um, so that's that's how that game's got its hooks in me right now. But uh, anyway, that's a discussion for a whole nother day, but yeah, check it out, Sky Force Anniversary Edition. But uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, you know, I'd like to hear, you know, what do you think an RPG is, you know? 
do you think anything you know differently than kind of some of the things that I laid out? And guys, please, please like and subscribe to my videos if you like them. It helps me out so much. And make sure you tap the bell for notifications. Well, guys, it's another beautiful day out here in Baltimore. Although it's supposed to rain later, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace out.